Hi there, welcome to this video where I'm at my local nature reserve with my new Nikon Z8. The goal of this video is to test out my new Nikon Z8 and put it through its paces. Now I've come to my local nature reserve um, because it's a familiar place and if you've watched some of my videos before, you've probably seen quite a few videos that I've filmed here. But because it's familiar, I know where I'm going, I can um, pick out some spots that I should see some birds at, but I really want to just try out the different focus modes and just see what it's capable of. Now at the moment I've got my 200 to 500 millimeter lens on the front of it so that is connected with um, an FTZ adapter so it fits to the Z mount um, but it still works absolutely fine. Now I have got a Z mount 100 to 400 millimeter lens as well um, but I haven't brought that with me today. So let's get into the reserve because I know that I'm really going to enjoy my photography. I've been stood here listening to a robin that's been very close in one of these trees in front of me. Um, but as soon as I actually spotted it, it took off, flew right across in front of me on this path, but went away into the distance. So I doubt I'll see that again for a while. Now there is a wren as well, fairly close. I can hear that at the moment, chirping away. But again, the chances of seeing a wren are usually very, very few and far between because they don't come out into the open very often but I'm gonna stay here for a little while, just keep my eye out, listen for what's about, and you never know, you might see something. So as I walk through the wood, I'm gonna to get to a lake, and I've seen lots of birds there. I've seen things like cormorants and coots, um, swans, uh, great crested grebes. So hopefully I might stand a chance of getting some photographs when I get to the lake as well. I just spotted a tree creeper on a tree very close to where I was and a family with a very noisy child came along and scared it off. Um, but I'm sure if I wait long enough, I'll find something. I've only had the Z8 for two days now, but I'm really enjoying using it. The autofocus is a standout feature. It's just so much better than my old Z6 II. It locks onto the eyes of birds. Um, it tracks them really well. And so I've been super pleased with the results that I've had just in my back garden. So as you can see, I've made it down onto the side of the lake and I have been here now for over half an hour. We've just had quite a heavy rain shower um, come through. And so I sheltered under a tree just here. Um, but uh, throughout that time, there was no bird life close enough to get any decent photographs. I've just got a few um, shots of mallards uh, that came reasonably close. I don't think they were particularly spectacular. And while I've been waiting, I have seen a kingfisher fishing on the opposite side of the lake, but it would have been far too far away um, to take a decent photograph, even uh, if it uh, wasn't raining. And so I'm not having a lot of luck today. I came here to test out the capabilities of the Z8, but unfortunately the birds have got other ideas. The conditions aren't really very great today because it's overcast. 
am I having to lift the ISO fairly high and because the birds are so far away um, I just can't really resolve them very well because they just get lost in the noise even though there's not a lot of noise because they're only small in the frame the the detail just gets wiped out and so I have managed to get a few um, shots of the birds close to the shore uh, I got a moor hen that came very close and a coot um, other than that I've not really got much else and to be fair there aren't that many other species about. I've seen the kingfisher and there are some uh, gulls flying about, but again, they're far too far away to actually um, get any good photos of. So I think I'm going to move on back into the wood. Well, I'm really not having much luck at all today. Um, this tree here is a tree where I've seen a nut hatch before. One of these holes just here is where it builds a nest, but no sign of it today. A flock of long-tailed tits did fly across the path in front of me, but again, they were just too far away. Um, everything just seems to be not in the mood today for playing with my new camera. It's, uh, it's as if they know that I'm here with the intent of testing it out. I have just managed to get a photograph of a squirrel just here behind me in this patch of grass. It came along with an acorn in its mouth and sat up and posed really nicely. Now not everybody's fan of grey squirrels, but I still think they're quite attractive. On the other side of the lake, about 100 metres away, there was just a guy throwing a ball into the lake for his dog. And I wanted to get the moment when the dog came out and shook itself, which I, I managed to do. But when I've zoomed into the photograph, you can read the writing on his brand name on his tracksuit bottoms um, at 100 metres. So that just goes to show how good the focusing is. Now, whenever I come to this place, I always get some great shots. Now, I thought today it would let me down and I'd already filmed the ending to the video to say it was a, a disappointing day out and I would got a lot of nearly shots. And then you can see that the weather has completely changed. The sun's come out and this location here has been so fruitful. You can see behind me, there's some swans. Um, they were on the bank a little bit earlier. So I took them when they were there and they'd got three signets with them. Then they walked past me and went out onto the lake. So I've got some shots of them out on the lake. And then I also started to experiment with taking photographs of the gulls that were over there in flight. And because the lights come out a lot more, I was able to lift the shutter speed. And I think I've got some really nice shots of the gulls in flight. Now the Z8 did a really good job of locking onto the birds in flight and tracking them. Some shots missed, it wasn't perfect, but equally, I think I've got some really nice ones as well. And then also I've had some nice studies just here down by the side of the water of some mallards, some coots. Um, one of the gulls came and landed on a fence post. So really it's been an absolute joy just finishing the video here on the side of the lake. And I could probably stay here for another hour. I think I'll stay here for a little while longer and see what else I get. So what I'll do is I'll show you the best photographs from today now.
I've got a lot out of making today's video. The main goal was just to get used to the Z8 and explore its features and just get used to changing the controls on the fly to get the best photographs. And I've had some very changeable conditions. We were overcast at one point, then we had some rain and now we're in sun. So I've had definitely changeable conditions, but at the end, I've got some really lovely photographs. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram or Vero account. You can leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, then you can leave via the gift shop. That's at Teespring. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer. So head off over there because a purchase really does help me out and it's very much appreciated. Now, you don't have to spend any money at all though to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications because it really helps me out and make sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video. That goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, go and check out this video just up here. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe. And I'll see you soon.